Hello, 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 amazing people. Welcome to my channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. If you're new here, my name is Brandon Tobias, and we here are passionate about love because we believe true love helps you to grow and transform and step into your greatest soul purpose. And specifically, my channel is about the Twin Flame Collective and the Twin Flame journey and covering the process and the progress and the journey overall of true love within the collective, even if that is in a soulmate situation, a situation, ship, or even a current relationship that you're in. We are covering both sides of the collective, sharing the story of what's going on energetically and helping you to be aware of what's going on so you can make the best possible choices and claim your true love and your greatest possible destiny in love and in life. So welcome to my channel. Again, if you are new, um, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want those continued updates for your love life, for your highest good. And do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that like button. Helps this channel and video grow so we can guide more people. And if you want to be notified every time I go live, hit that bell button so you'll never miss another live. I go live every Sunday. They're very incredible, and I look forward to having you on here. Now, this is a newer video type, okay? Um, I announced this a little bit before, but it's a newer uh, format of video. It's going to be a little different than uh, what I normally post. This is the recording from a TikTok live that I did uh, tonight, which is Friday night. And um, I'm just going to cut to it in a second, but I just wanted to explain that what you're about to see is kind of a rough phone kept uh, live recording of TikTok. But uh, what came out was very much profound and very much just I felt like I needed to put this on YouTube for you guys as well as the, the start to the divine masculine versus divine feminine and collective twin flame soulmate journey type of video. So what you're about to see is the first type of video like that, except it was recorded live on TikTok. So it's not that pretty, but the content I promise is worth staying to the end till because there's a lot of amazing clarity and information that came through. Uh, even you'll see me, I was quite surprised at some of the information that was coming through. So anyways, I hope it helps. Thanks so much for joining this channel. And just I wanted to, get, wanted to give a quick, quick heads up. This is not the normal type of quality you'll get on this channel. It'll normally be much nicer like you're seeing here. But this one was a film from a TikTok uh, live here. So that's why it's worse quality and from the phone. But again, the content is, uh, I would say, quite informative and something you definitely want to stick around to the end for. So thank you so much for joining. And without further ado, Let's get into the TikTok live. I'll see you guys inside. Uh, more interesting energy is going on right now, particularly for the divine feminine to be aware of uh, about basically needing to be or, or having the energy of wanting to be spontaneous and flow in and throughout life and actually be open to all of the possibilities that are coming to quote unquote her in order to explore and to be more in the flow of life and to take away a little bit of the heaviness that's been going on energetically. And this also stimulates the connection that she might have with a divine partner in, say, a twin flame union. The divine masculine or counterpart energy would be stimulated to then take action due to the divine feminine's openness or willingness to move or to be in the flow of her life, whatever that may mean and whatever opportunities may be coming, quote unquote, her way. And I say, quote unquote, because I want you guys to know when I say divine feminine, divine masculine, it does not mean by gender. OK, uh, it's an energy. All right, so you can be a male, like me, I'm a straight male, but I resonate more in love situations as the divine feminine, and my romantic partners tend to take on more of the divine masculine energy. So when I say that, just want to make that clear for everyone. But, um, but the divine feminine energy, right, is getting into this energy of wanting to be, you know, open and spontaneous and move in the flow with life and accept any offers that might come her way in order to stimulate movement within a divine partnership. And also within that divine partnership, a lot of the divine have been called to either say no, walk away, or to put even heavier boundaries up because of the necessity for the divine masculine energy to step up into a different light that is able to hold and stay and be eye to eye with that of the divine feminine. And the divine feminine learning in that in this journey when and how to walk away despite the deep, deep, deep spiritual and real love connection that she feels with her counterpart. So even an energy of playfulness and flirtation is coming in. All right. Let's get into the divine 
Love reading. Collective love reading. All right. Well, I'm hope I'm gonna hope for some good news, Mister Mister Mrs. Capricorn. I didn't see who that was, but someone said I need good news as a Capricorn. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. So, um, what what are we gonna do? We're gonna do. You know what we're gonna do in 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 this in the in the spirit of theme of divine feminine, divine masculine. We're gonna do a split reading. Okay, we're gonna do divine feminine on the right here. We're gonna do divine masculine on the left here. And then we're going to do a, an overall crowning card, crowning cards on top to give the general energies of the connection. This is the first time I've ever done this on TikTok, so I'm excited. Uh, general energy of the, of the connection uh, on the right side, divine feminine, on the left side, divine masculine. And then we'll do a advice context overall kind of outcome energy on the bottom. And we might draw a couple cards in the middle to to um to 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 say what is separating the two or what is the problem areas or what are the challenges that's that's the word the challenges okay so first time and everyone on this live it's the first time i'm doing this type of reading okay so it's exciting stuff oh and this is important so someone said how will i know mary said how will i know which one i i am or am i Okay, briefly before I get into it, I promise this will be brief. Let me just explain so you guys know how to follow along with this reading. Okay. Um, okay. In the energies, you are going to feel more resonant with one of the energies that I speak about. Okay. If you are more on the divine masculine side, even if you're a female, you'll know by the energies and the lessons that that side is going through that I'm talking about. And if you're more on the divine feminine side, you'll know and resonate with the energies going on on that side. And you'll be like, that's my side or that's who that's where I'm at. OK, so you'll know that. And then your counterpart or the person you're dealing with or the person you will likely deal with in the future will be on the other side. And what I'm doing here tonight is doing both sides so we can all be aware from spirit of the journey of both sides to come together. So what are the lessons, themes, and energies on both sides of the collective that they need to go through individually in order to come merge together? And then someone said another amazing question, what if I'm both? Rachel said that. And I, if, if you are both, I say thank you for bringing that up because some of you will resonate with a little bit of each of the sides. And there's a reason why, okay? Some people will be fully divine feminine. Some people will be fully divine masculine or mostly but there's a spectrum. Some people will have a bit of both going on or they'll be growing more in one side, but they'll, they'll be more dominant on one. They'll have a little bit on the other side or vice versa. Okay. As an example, even though my energy, again, as a straight male is mostly on the divine feminine side. And that's why I can channel for that side because that's what I'm going through that I'm resonating with. There are certain aspects of me and certain situations where I'm more in resonance with the divine masculine. And that's the side that's growing in me. That's the side that's balancing out. So we're all growing and seeking balance in our own energies about who we are and where we're going always. So if you are more in the divine feminine and your counterparts more in the divine masculine to even out, you would become more divine masculine and your partner will become more open to the divine feminine. Is this making sense to you guys? So anyways, that's how you know but some of you will resonate with a little bit of both sides. Some of you will resonate most on the divine feminine side and some most on the divine masculine side. Um, sometimes you will switch sides for a period of time. Sometimes you'll, you'll be mostly divine feminine and then some full moon happens and then you're like, oh crap, now I'm going to the divine masculine's lessons and I'm learning, <laughs> right? So it switches back and forth, but you will still have one side that's dominant, okay? Most of the time, most of the time. All right, I'll finish up. <laughs> People are ready. I told you it'd be brief. I, I you know, I, I like to explain just so you guys know what's happening. But anyways, um, that's the explanation. And um, I hope, yeah, yeah, I hope it makes sense. This, by the way, if I, I, I put a post on YouTube, this is where my channel's going now on. It's not going to be about specific zodiac signs. It's going to be about 
the Twin Flame Journey and Collective or Love Journey Collect, like the True Love Collective, basically. And I'll be talking about where the Divine Feminine versus Divine Masculine is at and the Twin Flame Journey, things like that. So versus Zodiac signs. So anyways, you guys are getting a sneak peek of the new type of format or channel. Okay, so let's get into it. So let's open the ceremony for TikTok specifically. Again, Divine Feminine over here on my right, Divine Masculine on the left. Uh, crowning cards, which is overall energy up center and the overall outcome at the bottom and then separating or challenging energies in the middle. All right. And you guys in the chat, if you want, call out what side of the collective you're on. I think we're at 222, by the way. I, I think I'm channeling for a pretty good mix of feminine and masculine, probably mostly feminine though. But call in in the chat if what side you're on. All right. Calling in the spirit guides, loved ones, masters, wise ones, angels and archangels. Calling in my spirit guides, angels and archangels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, and uh, Jesus Christ and Mary Magdalene. Please, please join me in this reading for the collective on TikTok for this specific live and allow me to channel with clarity and for the highest good and healing of everyone listening now and in the future what they need to hear for the highest good and healing for everyone involved. Also calling in the guides and angels specifically involved in the collective here on TikTok to join in on the ceremony and to allow me for to channel with unconditional love for the highest good and healing of everyone listening now and in the future. Thank you so much. The ceremony is now open. All right, here we go. So the guides, the angels are coming in. All right, let's do it. I think I've cut the deck like four times. So this, this deck is cut. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for the donations too. All right, spirit guides, loved ones, masters, wise ones, angels, and archangels. Let's get the overall crowning energy. Okay. So we're going to start with the overall crowning energy. Let's get five, five cards for the overall crowning energy between the two right now. So this is going to be for both sides of the collective, masculine and feminine. What do we got? What is the journey right now between the masculine and feminine overall crowning energy? Nope. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. First card up. We have the Six of Cups. <laughs> this is uh, on both sides of the collective. Deep, 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 deep love and feelings. And this soul connection being felt fully on both sides of the connection. This is sweet love and memories and nostalgia being felt by everyone on both sides of the connection about the remembering of memories between the two, a remembering of the fact that they've spent past lives together, a remembering and a realization of the deep, deep, deep love and connection they share with one another and the realization that no one is as special as the person that they are they are counterparted with or they are linked with on a soul level. This is the feelings. Now, if you're doubting, Anywhere inside that your person, your counterpart is feeling this energy, doubt no more. Because this is the first card out on the overall crowning energy for both sides. So if you are feeling what, okay, and also what I'm getting is hearing, if you are hearing or you're feeling this energy of profound love and missing this person and going over the memories and you're wondering if your person's feeling it, your person's feeling it at the same as you are, the same. Okay, it's matched. You just don't know it. Uh, let's go. Number two, five of wands, the temperance card. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's start with that. We'll go two more in a second. <sighs> five of wands. Okay. On And this is on either side. I'll, I'll show you the guys in the cards in a second. And then the temperance card came out on either side of the six of cups. So on one side of the deal, it's important to know. All right. It's important to know the essence, uh, the essence of having patience for one another and with uh, oneself within the connection. And the essence of patience is this. Knowing that this connection, this relationship, and this union is worth it to go all of the way, all the way down with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and all of your energy connected into it. But it is also calling for you in order to achieve this, to have the patience required in order to go all of the way with and because of this person, okay? There is nothing and no one like this person that you will ever meet, that they will ever meet, or that you, you two can ever create without each other. It is that special of a connection. I'm not saying you can't have love with anyone else. 
Don't get me wrong here. But you cannot have the type of special love that you share with one particular person with anyone else. This is a very special one. And even if you don't realize that they know it, they do know it. Uh, temperance card here knows on both sides of the connection that both sides are practicing this element of patience. For the Divine Feminine, I feel right that she's practicing patience in allowing this connection to rise up onto the level that she is in terms of her spirituality and awareness and her growth. And on the Divine Masculine side, it's more so patience with quote unquote, his own progression, his own evolution and his own healing within his own internal self in order to be in a place where he can be ready to match and be with the divine feminine. This is the patience, essence of patience going on between the two. Two, two, two again. Five of wands, this causes a lot of conflict. Both sides are in conflict within their inner hearts about this. They're like, how is this even possible that I could still love this person as deeply as I possibly can and do? And it's, I'm not, I don't really agree with it. Mentally, I don't agree with it, right? I don't want to be in this much love. It's crazy. How am I still in so much love with this person? And it feels like uh, I just want to fight this off or I want to basically argue with myself uh, that this is even a true, but it is true. And that's the thing. Your heart deep down knows, their heart deep down knows it's true, except the fact that they're denying the crap out of it. And you might be denying the crap out of it at times because it's frustrating and we understand. But um, just know that this is validated. If you're listening now, it's validated how you feel that you're, you're likely in conflict with yourself or frustrated with the situation. And that's okay. Uh, because it's it's a test of patience. And it's a test of uh, spiritual growth through patience for you, you versus for you for them and them for themselves. Okay. All right, let's keep going. So we oh, gosh, oh my god, look at Okay, a couple things, right? We just have the lovers <laughs> and the hermit card. The lovers, let me just, let me just, on either side, okay? The lovers and the hermit card, okay? And I always take these cards, if you guys were to see them, I think you guys can see how that's laying out, right? Do you guys see how each each of each each of the cards are on opposite sides of one another, meaning they're a match. They match up together energetically. How crazy is that? Which means that the divine lovers right now are meant to be alone. They are meant to be going through a period of isolation and separation temporarily so they can go through the spiritual growth necessary and the healing in order to come together and have this beautiful, beautiful reconciliation and union of the realization. It is required it is necessary it is here on both sides not just for one not just for the other but for both sides divine feminine and masculine it's required to have this temporary period of separation even if they're coming into your life even if you're going into their life and you're trying to kind of get things figured out or they're causing conflict or you're causing it's not time yet it's not time yet that's why there's conflict because it is not ready it's a need for patience it's a need for space and time now, the other thing that is here, and I typically, this can sometimes mean multiple lovers. I'm not getting that with this card. So if you guys are worried about third parties, I'm not so much getting that with this card right now. What I am getting is Spirit wanted to show that this is a, this, this, if you're watching this now and you're in isolation from someone and you can think of that person specifically that I'm taught, that, that I've, that person is brought up in your heart as I'm speaking right now, the person right now that you just thought of, that is your divine lover that you are meant to be in separation with at this moment that you are coming together with in time. Okay, that is what spirit wants to share. That is what spirit wants to say. Okay, yeah, and I'm getting that energy that some of you guys may be worried about a third party. And I'm specifically guided to say, if you're worried about that right now, don't be worried. Don't be worried about that. There, that could have been an element in the past. Okay. Okay. Listen, listen to me clearly. That could have been an element in the past that they dealt with. But what I'm hearing is that person. Okay. Oh, wow. This is deep. Okay. That person or that situation that they went, that they dealt with, if there was a third party in the past, I'm not saying that there was for everyone here, but if there was a third party in the past for this person, okay, in separation, that person served the connection to help 
them wake up to the fact that they want to be with you. Okay, this is very clear and it's very firm. If there was, again, I'm going to say this very clearly because this isn't going to resonate with everyone, but it's possible. If there was a third party, it would have been in the past while you two were separated in this particular situation I'm talking about. And that third party would have served to wake them up in some way, shape or form. Okay. To the fact that he or she loves you and wants to be with you and that there's no one else like you. Everyone has their different ways or vehicles of waking up to the truth of this connection. And sometimes it involves third parties, unfortunately. Okay. Even though it's the thing no one wants to hear, including myself, um, Spirit wanted me to say at this present time, it's not something to be concerned about for the majority of us. Um, but if it was there in the past, then that's what it would have been for. Spiritually, that's what it would have been for. Okay, because you can literally see three people as a result of three people being involved. Cupid's arrow gets involved as well and shoots someone down. Okay, shoots into someone who is being stubborn with his or her arms crossed to wake their ass up about the truth of how they feel about their true lover. (laughs) Okay. That's and so I sometimes get double or triple meanings for the cards. These are both being channeled through right now for this deck. And yeah, it can be twin flame, soulmate, karmic. All right. In terms of this, what this, who this is reading is for. Okay. Okay. So that's the collective. That's, that's the energies for both parties. What an amazing, I mean, that's just crazy. Like six of cups, lovers, hermit. Yeah, spirit is spirit is on fire. By the way, bottom of the deck is the king of swords. So remember when I said don't worry about third parties right now? This is why. Because what I strongly sense is that there's a couple meanings for this card. One is that your person, what you can't see, what you don't see right now, what you're not realizing is this person is not accepting any other offers at this current time. Okay? Because whatever chapter that was has finished. The other thing that it might represent is, well, no, I'm, you know what? I'm going to stick, I, that, that feels more in resonancy with me right now as I say it. Okay. And to know if you're more masculine or feminine, you're going to relate on one of the sides. Okay. You're going to relate more to one of the sides. You can have a twin flame and a soulmate. Yes, you can. Absolutely, you can. In fact, we all have multiple soulmates. One twin flame. Multiple soulmates. Okay, so you do have a choice. You always have a choice. All right, good morning. All right, let's go ahead and do the Divine Feminine's energy. Yeah? So Divine Feminine will be on the right. Do any of the cards already pulled correlate with star signs? Yeah, we've got Virgo here. Uh, with the Hermit card, we've got uh, the Lovers, which could, which could be Gemini energy. Virgo, Gemini. Temperance could be... Uh, I don't know Temperance, actually. It might be Taurus. Not sure about that one. Six of Cups. Not sure about that one. I'm, I'm actually not really good on the... I should I should be better. I should know the astrological signs with the tarot. Man, I'm an astrologer, for God's sake. All right, Spirit, can we get the... Uh, but right now, from what I can see, Virgo and Gemini... Um, can we get the Divine Feminine? So energy of the Divine Feminine here, Spirit. What's the energy of the Divine Feminine currently that we need to know for all of our highest good and healing this time? What's the energy of the Divine Feminine? We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. A new spark and a new passion and, in, and a new direction in life. Okay. So the Divine Feminine is strongly getting the urge or the inclination to kind of pivot, move a different way and to re-engage with herself in a passionate way and a passionate new direction and rediscover and live in that passionate spark or new direction that she's feeling spontaneously driven towards. Okay. It's the essence of having and feeling freedom in her own self and in her life and in her connection. And so she's kind of drive, been going, moving away or driving away temporarily. I feel from this connection at this moment in time, even though she's deeply, deeply in love, obviously with her counterpart, because of the nature of the energy, she's feeling the calling 
to move in a different direction to engage with herself in a way that that is spontaneous, expressive, possibly even flirtatious, and and just very open to herself in the world. Okay, um, let's get some more cards. We have seven of wands. Yeah, seven of wands, two of pentacles. This is wow. Ooh, painful. Yeah, someone said painful. We have three of swords showing up in the middle of her spread. Ooh, seven of wands and two of pentacles. So this is deep frustration with her counterpart. Deep frustration with her counterpart, right? We didn't get two of cups here. We got two of pentacles and these two are staring each other down. Even though they're linked with the infinity symbol here and they're divine partners and I know the divine partners, they are not happy with one another. And she's like basically like looking at this person going, are you going to step it up? Are you going to rise up or not? And I see your BS, I see your crap, and I see right through you. And I'm not going to let you get away with anything less than who and what you are, really are. That's the Divine Feminine's energy. And by the way, if you don't, I'm basically going to go and live my life and enjoy it and express myself and be completely free and open, right? That's where the Divine Feminine's at. Even though, and despite the fact that this is truly heartbreaking for her, truly it is hard, truly it is, it is a hard difficult thing for her to do to step away from this connection and to let it be. It's it's just difficult. Like she has a heart. She's right now she's having a hard time. Again, when I say she could be male or female, just energy. She is having a hard time from stepping away from this connection and from letting it go and from not holding on to this energy that's not ready. And it's that's Basically, her responsibility at this time is learning to accept that she's not responsible for her counterpart to grow and to be what he needs to be. All right. And seven of wands is the, basically this 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 combative energy. It's like, I'm not going to take your bullshit. I'm not going to take anything less than what you're wor capable of giving. I'm not. I'm just done with that. OK. Um, and it's it's just it's. It's, it's not going to be for me at this time if you're not going to step up. So that's the energy. And let's draw some two more cards here. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful. So at the same time as this heartbreak is occurring, she does, she's having an inclination or she's knowing or she's realizing that she has an opportunity now that's most important to focus on her building her solidity, building, building her empire, building her next chapter in life and solid foundations and a potential for a great future. She knows that right now, because this love connection isn't working out in the ways that she was hoping, it's the perfect time to build her life, to build her own wealth and abundance so that she can have this really solid contribution when she does come together with her counterpart. And she's realizing, okay, seven of pentacles. Well, the things I was previously focused on maybe aren't working out or reciprocating back or giving me the energy I need to move forward. Seven of Pentacles. So I need to reallocate my energy and my time into something else more productive uh, to be great, to build into greatness. All right. Which is Ten of Pentacles. So right now there's a whole big and a pivot in the Divine Feminine's energy about where she's going, what she's doing, where she's headed. And what she's willing to do and to put up with, uh, with her connection, and also what she wants to build in her own life. Okay, let me get uh, one final kind of bottom card for the divine feminine, which is the Queen of Pentacles. There it is. So right on point, independent, independence, stability, self care, self nurturing, self kind of practicality. Right, the divine feminine is taking more of a practical approach, despite feeling heartbroken about having to pivot away from this how this divine connection is turning out at this current time. Maybe she had her hopes up that it was going to happen by now or he was going to step up and rise and do all this. Um, but it hasn't happened. And so with heartbreak, she's decided to turn in a different direction to build uh, her side of the empire and to allocate her energy and time towards things that will actually give her energy back. Okay. Beautiful. So, you guys asked, how are you knowing if you're going to resonate with masculine or feminine? Well, those of you guys who resonated with the divine feminine, that's your side, okay? Uh, that's your side. On the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of cups, all right? The six of wands, beautiful, and the nine of wands and the star card. So she's being asked by the divine to have lots of faith in the situation, the understanding that it's going to come together in its own way, in its own divine timing, 
um, and that it's important to stay connected to her heart because she will end up being victorious if she has the strength and persistence, Nine of Wands, to believe uh, in the brightest possible future, okay? So that's Divine Feminine side. Also, the Divine Feminine, because it is showing up underneath the Hermit card here, is probably taken to some self-isolation with her own world. Okay, let's get into the Divine Masculine. You guys are awesome. Yeah, this is fun. I'm fired up. Today's, today's, today's live. Um, I might even post this on YouTube later. I don't know if I can download my video here. It's not going to be the greatest quality, but this is a decent... Uh, I think this is a good start to the new channel. All right, let's get Divine Masculine energy. So, Spirit, can we get the side of Divine Masculine here on the left? What's the story of the Divine Masculine currently? What's the current story uh, of the Divine Mask and the lessons he's going through? Okay. Crowning card. Always the strongest. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. This is an energy of wanting to come in with a cup of love, with some seduction-oriented energy, with some cuteness, with some savvy, with some poise, rushing on in to deliver this message of love to the Divine Feminine about how much he cares and how much he wants to be in this situation or what he feels or what he's realized about this connection, okay? Whether it's come in now, whether it's already come in or whether it will come in, this is an energy of wanting to come in with your counterpart. Your counterpart is wanting to come in at some point in the near future to express or to give this cup of love to you or to the divine feminine because a lot of you are in the masculine side, okay? Okay. Woo! Nine of Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. With the Knight of Cups, the Divine Masculine, everyone, in an energy of knowing who his true person is, undoubtedly, realizing the Divine Feminine is his truest wish fulfillment that he could possibly ever engage with. By the way, Nine of Cups is... The card of being single but knowing what you want in love that would be your true wish fulfillment. And guess what card this is showing up under? The lovers. So what it means is the divine masculine, everyone, this is crazy how it's coming out, has realized who his real, true, divine love is, which is you and nobody else. He is undoubtedly clear about that at this moment in time. He may not have expressed this yet. Okay, this doesn't mean he's expressed it. It just means the energy of what he wants to do or to be. Okay, let's take a look at what else. Four of pentacles. Whoa, the 10 of wands came out reversed, even though I don't normally read reversals. Somehow it got reversed. So that's a big open omen. Wow, the divine masculine is getting really ready to release the weight that he's been carrying in his heart and his soul this whole time that maybe he's been in no, no communication, separation, or no contact with you. Um, yes, Gemini would be tend to be masculine and Virgo as well sometimes. Um, the whole time of wanting to release this weight. This weight of love that he's been carrying on his soul this entire time came in reverse. So he's like, can we just get this thing off of my heart already in some way, shape, or form? I feel like I'm going to explode or melt down with all of the weight I've been holding inside. That's the energy of the Divine Masculine if you're watching this. Four of Pentacles is exactly that. It's been holding on, holding on, holding on, holding on, not letting go, not opening up. Not sharing, not being open to what he's been feeling, which is this heavy weight of love, Knight of Cups and Nine of Cups, about his person. So chances are this person has not shared anything. They've not opened up or budged about anything that they're truly actually feeling. But they have this deep, amazing desire to come rushing in to share the truth with you that you are their wish fulfillment. No one else. It's there. And the Ten of Wands is wanting to finally let go of that. They've been holding on to this reversed. It's got to be gone. It's got to let be let go of. So they're getting to this place where I feel intuitively something's going to pop inside of them. It, like they can't. They're not going to be able to take it any any longer. You know what I mean? 
two more cards. Eight of Wands and the Empress. Eight of Wands and the Empress. This is quick and sudden movement towards his divine feminine, the Empress. Wanting to make a sudden move or change and or communication to incoming towards his divine feminine. And I want you guys to look what happened on either side of the reading. Both sides, the first card and the last card, Nine of Cups and the Empress. <laughs> Nine of Cups and the Empress on either side, okay? Which means that he's realized this is one person, one divine feminine, Empress energy, who's waiting for him to come in. He's realized is his Empress, is his true love, is his person, is his divine connection. Now, even though he's realized that, a lot of you guys are saying, I can see it in the chat and energetically, okay? Why hasn't he come in? You guys wondering this? When is it going to be? Weeks, months, years, how long is this going to go on until this person cracks and, and finally moves in? And the answer is, I don't know. I can't, there, obviously energy is energy. I can't give specifics for anyone. But the lesson here is knowing that it's true, knowing I mean, this came out clear as day. I, I'm not even as a tarot reader having to interpret this. It's so obvious. It's literally the most obvious reading ever, like where each side is at. And he's realized that. Now, with the, with the Knight of Cups and the Empress here, okay, with the Knight of Cups and the Empress here, this person does not feel worthy of the greatness and the magnetism and the allure that the empress energy contains naturally. This person is in awe and awestruck by the greatness or the allure and the beauty and the magnetism and the light that the empress energy is expressing. And so this is an energy of feeling the intimidation because of that. The intimidation, the fear, the hesitation, even though all of the desire on the divine masculine side is to move in and to move in quickly and to share this cup of love and to share the truth and to open up and release the burden and that you are their wish fulfillment. Chances are they haven't admitted any of this because this is the journey they're on. Their journey is to open themselves up, excuse me, emotionally and to be able to learn to share and express, to speak, to take action towards their true heart and emotions. A lot of them as well, by the way, will have some trouble or do have some trouble trusting their emotions in their heart, okay? Because they're more so in their head. They're trusting their head. They're trusting their logic. They're trusting their conditioning more so than what their heart or their soul or their intuition has been telling and screaming at them. And they're going, well, I'm not sure yet if I can fully trust that. So I'm going to stop and not take action, even though this weight is crazy and I don't know what's going on. Right? It's their lesson to learn, even though it's effortless for the divine feminine to follow this feeling as her intuition. That's the divine feminine's gift. The divine masculine is not built the same way. You have to understand that. The divine masculine is more so in the head, more so prone to logic and following what the head has to say and analyzing everything to a T and making sure everything's in order and making sure that he can trust blah, 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 blah. Right? And... This is the complete opposite of what he is normally used to. This is the complete opposite. It's spirit, it's, it's his soul and his heart screaming at him that this is his person, even if it makes no sense at all to him, and that they are deeply connected in ways he can't understand and to move towards her. And yet, because he's never been through it, he's learning to trust that. So that is why the patience is here on the divine feminine side and on his side, by the way, because that is his lesson and it's not an easy lesson to learn. It's not an easy lesson to learn, okay? Think about when you first went through your spiritual awakening and you were first asked to make a life-changing decision based solely on your intuition or your gut, okay? As a divine feminine, it's not easy. It took, for me, again, straight male, Resonate more with the divine feminine in relationships and energy. It, it when I first woke up to this, I, it took me years, a probably a full year, to trust in my gut more than my head. Right? It takes a long time. I might put this. I might put this on YouTube. Yeah, this this is this is good. Um, 
Let's get the final uh, last card out here for the Divine Masculine. Ooh, 10 of Sword. <laughs> Look at this. And it's right underneath the 10 of Wands in reverse. This is pure exhaustion. This is pure exhaustion, my people. Um, pure and utter exhaustion when it comes to how he is feeling at this time, this moment in time. Um, I will put it on YouTube. Thank you, guys. Um, about where he's at in the situation. He's in a rut. Okay, this person, this divine masculine energy in this counterpart situation and twin flame energy right now is not sure at all where to go. Feeling burnt out, feeling lost, feeling stuck, feeling in a rut and feeling like I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know where to go. It's like they're they're stuck in this little crevice of energy and space and they're like bumping against all these walls and they've gotten so tired of bumping in against these walls that don't go to the right place that they're finally getting desperate enough to make the move that will will save them, will basically save them out of this pit that they're at and that's moving towards you, okay? And again, I wanna be clear because you know when I say these readings, it I don't want it to come off like I'm like talking trash about the divine masculine and, and glorifying the divine feminine. I, I'm not. You know, both sides have their own journey the Divine Feminine has not, has not been perfect in this situation. They're both learning lessons at the same time in different ways. But this is the story, okay? This is the love story that's happening. And truly, this is where the Divine Masculine Energy is at. It's like this realization of profound, deep love about wanting to come in to the his Empress. Clearly, Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment in every single way, yet having fear and intimidation towards moving toward to the Divine Feminine because of... of a lack of trust in his own intuition, despite feeling completely and utterly exhausted about where he's at energetically and the weight that he's been carrying and needing to make a move, okay? So that's why, and it may take longer for some people, shorter for others. It's a whole spectrum of how it's gonna work in terms of time. It's an energetic spectrum. So some people, you know, it just, it just depends. It depends on free will when this person decides to make a move and also on the healing progression on the Divine Feminine, okay? Now, even if the Divine Masculine does make a move, let's say tomorrow, let's just say tomorrow this happens, okay? There's no there's no guarantee that this person's gonna be ready for a full-blown relationship with you at this time. Like they may still need a lot of growth and healing in order to be on the same level of you in terms of, or the Divine Feminine is in terms of what they're able to receive or willing to receive, right? But, but it's it's a very important first step towards the creation of something that uh, would be a very harmonious union for both, okay? All right, so let's go through the separation energies. Oh, by the way, bottom of the deck for the Divine Masculine is the Tower card, okay? So what we said literally like a pop or a, a big explode, like this is this is that. This is what's coming for their energy. If they continue to stay in the Ten of Swords, something's going to pop. Something's literally going to crumble down and explode in their own hearts and our own minds. And so they can't take it anymore and they have to make a move. It's It sucks in some ways, but in other ways, it's like, dude, that's what happens. You know, that's what happens if you don't listen to your heart. And it's it's a, just a lesson they got to learn. So um, it is what it is, right? So have compassion. Have compassion. Have love. This is the journey of the divine masculine and the... Someone said, pop them all. <laughs> all right, let's go through the separating energies between the divine feminine and the divine masculine at this time. Spirit, what is the separating energies? What is the current challenges? Current challenges between the divine masculine uh, and the divine feminine at this time that we need to know about. Page of Pentacles, being unsure, being intimidated, and quite frankly, needing to share an apology that, hey, this was wrong, uh, I'm sorry, and really feeling the intimidation or lack of a decision because of needing to, needing to move in that direction or knowing what needs to be done, right? It's this kind of teeter-tottering feeling of like, oh, I kind of know what I need to do, but I don't really want to do it or I want to avoid it. I want to put it off even though the weight in my chest is getting heavier and heavier by the day. That's the challenge, okay? 
the star card in the middle of the separating energy. This is quite frankly divine timing. So the challenge here is knowing and having faith and trust, faith, trust, and hope in the fact that this is all divinely guided in ways that we cannot even understand or comprehend. The magic of these tarot readings, by the way, blows me away every time that they are can get it so pinpointed, right? In ways that I as a human could never know or do myself. This is all just channeled. The same magic that occurs in these tarot readings is occurring in the connection itself. Like things behind the scenes that, that we have no idea about and timings and things that are necessary before we can come together are happening so that this can be the best you've ever had and they've had, ever had and the world has ever seen in terms of the relationship. That's the star card. And nine of wands is persistence and strength. It's quite simply having the strength and persistence to continue on with this connection and this dynamic no matter what. No matter what, it's, it's knowing. It's knowing deep in your heart and also through that knowing, summoning and receiving the strength and persistence to continue on with this connection to see and allow it to lead where it needs to go. Not giving up on both sides, not giving up, okay? So, and as you continue on, Divine Feminine, I'm talking to you. As you continue on and have strength and persistence and clarity and continue to go through this emotional roller coaster, you give strength and inspiration and clarity to your divine masculine at the same time. So your light inspires them to keep moving, okay? Your light inspires them to keep moving. And the Queen of Cups, this is an opening of the heart. The sharing and connection of being, uh, of being connected to your true emotions on both sides, okay? So the challenge here for the divine feminine and masculine, feminine is, hey, this is so frustrating. I'm trying, I like, I can't be connected to my heart anymore because I'm, I'm, I just need to move away. I'm heartbroken. Remember the divine feminine got the three of swords in the middle of her spread. I can't do this anymore. It's too difficult. It's too frustrating. I am heartbroken, divine masculine. You need to step it up now. This needs to happen now or yesterday because I can't go on like this anymore. The challenge is staying connected to that no matter how painful it is. It also is the divine masculine stepping up into his heart space and giving a true offer of love via the emotions and intuition. Last card in the separating energy is the six of wands. The energy of wanting to be victorious no matter what. So this is a little bit of pride I'm sensing or ego or kind of that need to come out on top no matter what and be victorious and not swallow the ego, okay? Um, so it's a need to kind of let down the guard, let down the constant need to one up the other or to win no matter what or to come out victorious and to have that kind of dynamic just on both sides on both sides not the divine feminine or the divine masculine alone on both sides just let it go allow this to happen allow forgiveness to come in allow the ability for this to just flow and to come into being however it needs to come into being and stop trying to be victorious stop trying to you know, force this to happen. So force this to happen in a way that you come out on top of it or that you feel better or victorious or blah, 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 blah. Again, you guys are both equal but opposite souls within the same connection, okay? It, there's no inequality between you two. It's just different parts of the journey. If I'm insinuating that the divine masculine is lesser than divine feminine, I'm not. Please don't take that that, that, that way. What is true though is there's an energy divine masculine who is, you would say, less realized or less, less progressed when it comes to realizing the truth of who he is on a spiritual level. That's it. That's, that's it. Okay. But the divine masculine might be more developed and mature in other ways, practically on, in the world and in the earth that the divine feminine can learn from or be balanced to. But the one area where the feminine has the up you know, I would say advantage or, or higher knowledge or whatever is love and intuition. So that's, that's why if this connection, if, if I'm insinuating that one's be better than the other, I'm, I'm not. Don't take it like that. It's just the feminine has typically energetically, biologically, a higher awareness when it comes to love and her intuition and spirituality and soul, blah, 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 blah. And typically it takes a little longer for the divine masculine to quote unquote catch up but he's probably more mature in other ways, okay? All right, 
more of a practical sense. So that's what I mean. So anyways, both sides, you guys are equal but opposite. It's just different parts you're learning. And uh, stop trying to be victorious. <laughs> All right, Spirit, can we get the overall outcome and or context and advice uh, to um, <laughs> the reading? Overall outcome and or context and advice for the entire reading, Spirit, please. Overall outcome and advice. Knight of Swords. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. So we have the Knight of Swords. This is overall outcome, final context, and advice from Spirit. The Hierophant, the Hanged Man, the Chariot, and the Four of Cups. First thing that comes to me is the need for acceptance. Acceptance. Acceptance of where the situation is at. Acceptance of having to be still within the chaos of the energy that's coming through right now. Acceptance of the need to continue to heal and to continue to go through this emotional roller coaster that's happening in your own space and in your own time and in your own way. Okay. But it's also, ironically, paradoxically, we have the chariot right next to it the ability to move forward with your life in other ways, okay? Meaning that if you are spontaneously called or driven to go explore other areas of life or to travel or to accept other dates or things like that or flirt with another person at this time just to express that side of you and to be in the flow of life, then go do it, Divine Feminine. Um, be sure to move forward and not allow anything or anyone or any connection to slow you down from your natural progression of life and what you want to do with your life. And the Knight of Swords and the Hierophant card, okay, coming out as the first two cards. Knight of Swords is just knowing, right, as advice that uh, this, this facade, okay, this facade of the mind or the ego, all right, really more so on the divine masculine side, it is on the side of the divine masculine, is not going to last forever. It cannot last forever. Eventually it will sh uh, sink his ship. And when that happens, when he realizes that holding up the mind or the ego above all else, all right, is fruitless and pointless and not true, then that's, we'll th that's when things will finally ship. But it's a message, the dominant message there is that it's um, inevitable. It is it is and will be culminating at some point. It's not going to last forever. So if you have that thought or that doubt that um, it's going to last forever or, you know, when is it going to end, blah, blah, blah. It, 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 there will be a point, okay, where everything flips and switches, okay? And then the Hierophant card here as well. So it's also a message for you guys who are called to be in spirituality or to lead and guide others through spirituality, spirituality um, in your own ways, whether it's reading tarot, doing astrology, having psychic lessons, or just talking about um, really the mixture of practical, real life science with spirituality. This is the Hierophant card, by the way, is appearing to be a normal person to everyone else, but also being super low key in depth, uh, a, a spiritual light worker and blessing your wor the world with your light uh, individually. That's the Hierophant here is to do that type of work right this time. It's very important that those of you, particularly I'm talking to the divine feminine, because again, the spiritual progression here uh, has these gifts and it's time to share these gifts with the world. And uh, the spirit really isn't going to accept anything less than that. Um, she, he's, he's not, it's not going to accept anything less than fully opening herself to share all of her magic and gifts with everyone else in the world uh, in a way that's not just exclusively to this connection or the divine masculine, but for everyone uh, uh, sharing the light here. Okay. Whew, holy cow. What a, what a reading. Um, Knight of Swords or King of Swords on the bottom of the deck again for the final outcome and context on the bottom of the deck. So again, Spirit really wants to emphasize two things here. Actually, well, that's very interesting. Uh, so remember the first time I got it for the Divine Masculine as a note that he was not accepting offers? This time it came up and I got it for the Divine Feminine. So what's interesting is I said, you know, go on dates or flirt and blah, blah, blah. 
I'm kind of feeling like it was like this is more so about uh, staying true to your truth and having boundaries up to anyone or anything or any energy that might not be really up to par or what you're going for or what you're focused on. Okay. You know, it's interesting. It's interesting. So it could be more of a following of spontaneous passion generally with the Ace of Wands here and work and light work and spiritual work. Okay. Because the King of Swords here, again, is having that heart and that those boundaries up to other offers coming in here. Okay. Little fish that want to nibble at their feet. It's also, um, it is also about having this boundary up to in some ways, the divine masculine at this time, uh, in order to complete the healing process or the spiritually spiritual ascension process for both sides. So if there is a lack of boundaries or clear communication about what's allowed, what's okay, what's, um, what's not okay between you two right now, then that needs to be set uh, pretty firmly. Okay, because it is very clear from spirit, if you are on this journey and resonating, that it's not the greatest idea generally to have them super involved in your life right now if they're not giving you this true offer that you know you're worthy of. And it's a practice of the divine feminine to set a boundary and not only allow the best to come into her life when it's ready. Okay. So that is the collective love reading for the divine masculine and divine feminine. I do want to do to just finish this whole thing up because this was a beautiful reading. I do feel inclined to do three, three final outcome cards, whereas this was just advice. This last row we will do three final outcome cards and that will be the end of this reading. Okay. Which there's already a lot of cards on the table, so I don't even know what's left. Um, hope you guys are resonating. I, this was a crazy reading. I knew there was a reason I needed to get on TikTok tonight, but, uh, wow. I mean, this, this cleared some things up for me too. So thank you, spirit. Um, three final outcome cards here, spirit, please. Whatever else we need to know for the final outcome for this union at this time in the collective. Ooh. Here we go. The Magician, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Wow. 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 Okay. You guys see it here. Um, okay. Interesting. So what I'm hearing is it's you do have a choice. There is a choice being made about the path that you would like to go down and to manifest on both sides of the connection. There's a choice. It's needing, the choice is needing to be made right now. Okay. On both sides, but also predominantly on the divine masculine side, the next step or final outcome would be them making this choice about where they would like to go. Two of Swords which direction they'd like to take and whether they're going to take the choice and take the step to step up and to claim what is in his heart and to open his heart. This is the next step. This is the final outcome, two of swords. These rocky seas that the divine masculine finds himself in and the divine feminine, by the way, in different ways, have to make a choice as to what they want. Now, the way it applies to the divine feminine is actually also around this connection. So the choice for the divine feminine is if she's going to continue to stay connected or to continue manifesting this connection in particular, or if she's going to manifest something else entirely. Okay, what direction do you want to go? What direction does the divine masculine want to go? Here's a little side note, divine feminine. Your choice influences your divine masculine because you are the one in charge of manifesting this relationship, energetically speaking. 
Meaning that if you continue to stay on the path energetically to manifest this relationship, if you choose this person, if you have faith in this person, if you have patience in this person, and you believe in this connection, in everything that I'm saying, it's your choice, by the way. This is a, this is, look, I'll be honest with you. This isn't risk-free, okay? This is a leap of faith to stay on this path, Based on your own gut, your own intuition, these channeled readings that I'm, I'm blessed to be able to give that show what's going on and what's happening. Oh, you guys are giving me chills. You guys are giving me chills. Just saying I choose him. He's going to be mine. I love it. That, that, I, I'm almost tearing up right now. That's, that's amazing. Um, the faith and the strength you have, right, in this connection. But you do have the choice. It's not like you don't have the choice. You have the choice. You have the free will. And um, you get to choose. And when you choose, that will influence the future of this outcome. But it is a leap of faith. I cannot, as a tarot reader, guarantee that all of this incredible channeled message, all these incredible channel messages are going to come true. I cannot guarantee that. Even in my own life. This is this is divine. This is faith in the divine, in true love, in a way that you've never had to choose before. It is the greatest possible risk that you can take when it comes to love for the greatest possible reward. So it's your choice because you do have options and you can definitely go be with a soulmate and have a life and be happy, but it will not be this person. Not the easiest message to hear, but truth. Eight of Cups. <laughs> if you would like to manifest this connection, okay. Wow, actually, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. So you guys saw, wow, the two of swords was in the middle, right? When this came out. Yes, the general masculine feminine reading. Um... Either side was the Magician and the Eight of Cups. So it's literally what I just got was these are both of the choices. <laughs> these are both the choices. <laughs> One side is manifesting this connection. The other side is walking away from this connection for good. Okay. That's crazy. I was going to say something completely different and then spirit came in and interrupted and was like, actually, no, this is what we meant, which is pretty dramatic. But um, I mean, it's dramatic. I don't I don't normally get too dramatic, but this is crazy. So it is your choice. And if you choose another person, if you choose a soulmate, that is 100 percent totally fine. You are so within your right to do that. Some of you guys are like, I'm done with this person. I'm walking away. They treated me like crap. They're not ready. They're not stepping up. It's going to take too long. It's too much pressure. It's too much work. That's okay. And you will find happiness with some other person. That's no problem. And perhaps in another lifetime, you and this connection can do it. But, there's a big but, this connection and you are very special. And even though it's hard, and even though it takes a lot of work and a lot of patience, you two have the potentiality to create the most incredible life that you could have ever imagined in your highest potential destiny in this lifetime together and to experience love on a level that you've never imagined and you've probably never experienced. That is the other choice. And either one's okay. One's going to take a lot more work and the other one is going to take uh, getting off the train and and, and it's going to be easier and it's in a you know, maybe there's going to be more happiness there in the short run, but either one's okay. So anyways, 
Let me know in the chat. Um, <laughs> let me know in the chat what you guys claim. All right. Let me know in the chat what you guys claim. If you guys, let's take this opportunity and put it out in public. What you guys are going to do, what you guys are going to choose. And you don't have to, only if you feel called to, but if you put it out in public and have people agree and cheer you on and know, okay, it's going to help you in your decision. And you got to be sure. You can't be, oh, I'm kind of in, but I'm, I'm still torn. I'm not really sure. I'm back and forth. You got to claim it with all of your heart and soul. You got to know. All right. And if you don't know at this particular moment, that's OK. I'm, I'm only joshing a little bit, but you got to go find out. You got to go find out and get clarity. All right. Let this be a sign. If you don't know for sure in your heart what you want, go find clarity and uh, make it happen or manifest it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, you guys are awesome. Look at look at you guys. And that's wherever you're at, that's okay. Whether you claim it, whether you don't claim it, that's okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out there. I claim my person. All right. I claim her with all of my heart and soul. I claim her with all of my heart and soul, one hundred percent. And um, you know, you guys just hearing this, right? <laughs> You guys can help me manifest and affirm this, this amazing love situation coming together for the highest good of all of us and for the world. All right. I love you guys so much. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope this was uh, enjoyable. <laughs> and uh, if you guys missed the beginning of it and want to go back for the reading, um, I will be posting this on YouTube apparently. I don't normally post uh, uh, YouTube readings like from a phone, but um, but I will do this one because uh, there there's some very important messages that came out. I forgot to mention bottom of the deck is six of pentacles here. So equal give and take and reciprocal abundance between two divine lovers and only two. All right. Um, if you guys need to find it, go check out my, it's on my YouTube channel, Science of the Soul and Stars. Science of the Soul and Stars. Science of the Soul and Stars, okay? Um, and Instagram, my Instagram is BT Speaks. BT Speaks, all one word. I just went live today. Great video. Very different message. Um, but I normally talk about more metaphysical stuff, healing, energy, the science of things, right? And, and today I did a love reading, but that's on Instagram. So it's BT Speaks and uh, Science of the Soul and Star. Just search Science of the Soul and Stars on YouTube and you can subscribe on there. And uh, I'll be doing, I'll be posting this reading and I'll be posting more readings like it um, for everyone. So Science of the Soul and Stars is my YouTube. Okay. If you guys want a personal session or personal reading with me, I do offer those. You can go to brandontobias.com. It's way easier to access on a desktop, but mobile will work. Uh, I do one-on-one -on -one live clarity sessions where I channel the guides for both of us and um, just have a conversation that gives you clarity around your love life or your uh, career life or your abundant life. And then I also do obviously recorded tarot and astrology readings for you guys as well, or a 10 minute audio only clarity session as well. For those of you guys wanting instant clarity on your situation, um, that's quick turnaround in one to two days. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of this. What an amazing and inspiring reading. And I appreciate all the donations if you donated. I super so appreciate that uh, with all of my heart. And I will see you guys on YouTube, okay? And TikTok and Instagram now and in the future. Love you guys. And I am out.